Baby shark, mommy, are, are you recording yet? Yeah. What's up, guys? Welcome to Football Sunday at the X Hike. X Church. What up? It's your boys, your friendly neighborhood youth directors, mm. Judah and Jesse. Mm. Yeah. Reverse that, cause I'm talking this time. So it's Jesse and Judah. Yeah. I'm Jesse. I'm Judah. It's been that way my whole life. I, uh, I'm nothing. Um, <laughs> Jesse. Yeah. Jesse. What? Jesse. What? Jesse. If you could be any be any gas station snack. What would you be? Twinkie. Oh, that was good. Without a doubt. I think I'd be a, uh, one of those ho-hos. Ho-hos. Yeah. Or be a zebra cake. So we're here, getting ready <laughs> for a football Sunday, because it's not football Sunday yet when we record this. A little secret that we don't record it at the same time we show these. But so, anyway, we're here, we're at Salvation Army in Lancaster uh, because we need some football stuff to wear and we're not about to... Okay. I've never been here, actually. It smells like vanilla. Actually, this is kind of dope. Judah, where'd your torso go? This is dope. Deals, man! The deals! <laughs> Jesse gets car sick, so... I do um, get car sick. Kind of having fun. Judah likes to swerve and brake and accelerate. And <laughs> what if you threw up my car? <laughs> that would be disgusting. I almost threw up last week. So, Judah, did you ever play football? Uh, I would play backyard football, but I never played because I was too scared of getting hit. Yes. Yeah. Um, I played once. played one year, my eighth grade year. And I was really bad because I didn't like to get hit and I didn't want to hit people, yeah. which is kind of like the this big thing in football. Mm -hmm. So if you can't do that, you really can't play. Little, little softy. Yeah. I was a little softy. No, me too. But I will hit you right now. No, but there's one thing about sports that uh, is really interesting. So like tonight, the Super Bowl is going to be on. Not tonight, tonight, but like tonight when you watch this. Tonight, tonight. A lot of players, like you'll see them like bow their head or you'll see them uh, like kneel in the end zone and say a prayer really quick. So I thought like today would be fitting to talk about prayer. It's like when I played football, one thing we always did was before and after every single game, we said what's called the Lord's Prayer together. Uh, the Lord's Prayer is in Matthew chapter 6. It's actually part of uh, Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, as it's called. Uh, basically where Jesus was teaching on a mountain. So they call it the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, genius, right? <laughs> but basically, Jesus was teaching them how to pray, and he said this. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Uh, forgive us our trespasses. Uh, as we forgive those who trespass against us and deliver us or lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil mm -hmm. so basically that's what he did so before and after every football game we would recite that prayer together as a team and it was a christian school so it kind of makes sense that we did that um, but you know it just seems like prayer and sports kind of go together so i feel like we should talk about that like you know, what prayer is mm -hmm. and maybe how to pray yeah it can be confusing sometimes. I, I didn't understand it growing up, right. like what prayer was, so I think it'd be cool if we talked yeah. about it. Hi there, Heather. Uh, can I get a chicken strip basket? Um, six. So, we're in Dairy Queen's drive through We're on the way to Goodwill. Cause I didn't find the kind of jersey I wanted at Salvation Army. So we're about to hit up that Goodwill. Yeah. Not that bad will. 
we're going to get that goodwill. That good, that mmm, mm, like mmm, like that mmm, Will. Like that mmm, man, yes, Will. Yeah, Will. Yeah, Will. Yeah! Hello. Oh, God. Oh. We definitely just drove off a curb. Uh, but I think, like, the first thing, like, that we should talk about, like, what is prayer? Like, we talk about it all the time in church, and we hear that, and we, or we say, hey, praying for you, or whatever. But, like, what is, what does that mean? Like, what is it? Dudes. Goodwill is closed. You can't oh, really sorry. see. Just on the other side of Judah's crunchy face, there is a sign that says closed due to weather. Because it's too cold in the building to be open? Like, as if. They don't have heat? Come on. Where are they at when we're trying to buy stuff? <laughs> we need stuff! <laughs> they have this stuff and we need it! <laughs> Ooh, baby, I love the way every day. So, Russell, what do you think about prayer, man? So, Russell was just saying how prayer is basically just our way of talking with God. Uh, I know that it, you know, often sounds like super duper spiritual or whatever, but like really it's our way of connecting with and having a conversation with God. Mm -hmm. It's really as simple as that. Yeah, it's just a conversation you can have with God anytime, any day, when you're in the bathroom or when you're at home alone, you can be talking with God. So I think there's also this perception that like, Prayer has to be certain words, you have to say it a certain way, or you have to, you know, do something particular. Really, it's not about the words you say. Um, it's really about the attitude of your heart and expressing honestly to God how you feel, what you think, uh, what your desires are, what your fears are, um, and just sharing those with Him, just from the heart. Uh, one time, it was described to me as this. So if you took out your cell phone right now and put it up to your ear, and then acted like God was on the other side, that's what prayer is. So, uh, I wanna challenge you this week. If you've never prayed before, or you don't feel super comfortable praying, um, try it this week. Sometime when you're alone, maybe uh, when you're sitting on the bus, you know, have your headphones in, or when you're in your room at night, or something like that. Try to talk to God. You don't have to do it out loud, because that would, might be weird, uh, but you could if you want to. Uh, and just try yeah. to talk with him. and you could, um, You're never too far away to talk to God. Utilize prayer. Prayer is just like anything where you can, just, um, like, like me talking to Jesse. Mm -hmm. Like I'm just a conversation. Um, and there's three practical things that we want to give you when you're praying that might help you. And uh, so one is be thankful. I uh, thank God. Be like, hey God, thank you for the, my house. Thank you for my parents. Thank you for my Xbox. I don't know. Uh, just thank him. The second one is to ask a request from God. Like, God, I really need help in this. I'm really frustrated in this. You can even be confessing. I'm having trouble in school. I'm having trouble in my sports. I'm not getting along with my friends. Like, it could be anything. Ask God, though. Don't be afraid mm -hmm. to ask God. Mm -hmm. You can have the confidence because he loves you so much and he cares about you. Mm -hmm. And then the third one is to ask for forgiveness. Now, I'm not saying like, oh, you're on your hands and knees. Oh, God, please forgive me. But we do sin against God. And it's more for us than it is for God. It's to kind of reset our hearts and remind us like, hey, actually, we need God because we're, we're screwed up. So. Yeah. so true. And it's really just as simple as that. I know prayer can seem intimidating or it's like this super kind of weird thing. But really, at the end of the day, it's about having a conversation with God. Talk to God as if you're just talking to one of your friends. Um, and then remember that it's not about the words you say. There aren't particular words that you're supposed to use. There's no wrong word to say in a prayer um, if you're expressing how you actually feel or what you're thinking. Um, and like Judah said, those three things, just be thankful. We have tons to thank God for. Um, and then ask help from God in some area. Um, and then uh, always come back to asking forgiveness and asking God to help you do better in the future. All right, guys. Thanks for watching episode 13. Enjoy the Super Bowl tonight. I hope the Patriots lose. <laughs> Hopefully they do. Judah's butt is on my head. We'll see you next week. Woo!